Click on the Run button in the toolbar to run the simulation. When running, a percentage appears next to the ONA to show the progress of the simulation. It's difficult to see it in this case since the simulation runs so quickly. The running details and any warning messages will be displayed in the output window. If there are no errors, you'll see the Simulation Completed Successfully message. The simulation file is not automatically saved when you run the simulation. You may want to save it at this stage to make sure that the simulation results will still be present the next time you open it. You can choose not to save the file after running it if you want a smaller file size. Since simulations are relatively fast to run, it may make sense not to save the file and just rerun the file again next time when you want to get the results. After running, the ONA object will be populated with results. To see the results, select the ONA and go to the Result View window. The results are organized in a hierarchical tree showing the results for each input of the ONA and the mode that was selected, which is Mode 1, corresponding to the TE mode. The direct simulation results are listed here under Mode 1, including transmission and gain, whereas the results listed under the peak are results obtained by the peak analysis of the transmission spectrum. Peak analysis details can be set from the ONA properties. I can also right-click and show the results in table view where all of the results are listed and the result names will follow the same hierarchy as we saw in the tree view. For example, the result input 1, mode 1, transmission is the complex transmission of the through port. Right-click on this result and plot it in a new visualizer. To get the power transmission spectrum, apply the absolute value squared scalar operation to the result. If you are not sure about the definition of any of the results from the analyzer, you can refer to the online documentation. Like the other elements, you can right-click on the analyzer in the viewport and select Help to open up the documentation. Right-click and plot the Input 1, Mode 1, Gain result, which gives the transmission spectrum in decibels. We can similarly plot the transmission and gain results for input 2 to give the drop port transmission spectrum. Next, we plot the free spectral range from the peak analysis results. By default, the ONA peak analysis is based on peak maxima. The drop port transmission is peaked at the resonant frequencies of the ring, so let's plot the FSR for input 2, mode 1, in a new visualizer. The FSR is in units of hertz, as indicated by the plot label. We see multiple data points here showing the FSR calculated for each peak in the spectrum. The values are relatively flat at about 3.06 times 10 to the 11 hertz, which corresponds to 306 gigahertz. Finally, visualize the quality factor from input 2. To see the exact values of the data points, you can hover the mouse cursor over the data point. 